Hey guys, this is Brian Drury, the founder of Overcoming Graduation and the creator of the Overcoming Graduation podcast, coming to you live from the Detroit International Airport. Now this is the third time I'm trying to do this video because I woke up at uh, 4.15 this morning, so I've done a couple runs and it hasn't gone so well, so let's see if I can get it right this time. But today's message and today's lesson is about investing in yourself. And the reason that this message is relevant or why it's coming up to me today is because I'm on my way to the Sean Stevenson 10K speaking event. And this is the second time I'll be attending this event. And last year was my first time. Leading up to the event, I was terrified to invest. It was something I had always wanted to do. I had always wanted to go to a conference to network with like-minded people, to learn more about what it would take to become a professional speaker in my life. And so going to this event, it made sense because Sean Stevenson was going to be sharing his secrets. He was going to bring in a panel of experts for people across marketing and multiple different industries that could help me accelerate my growth, accelerate growing my own business. So it had everything I needed. And then I looked at the price and I just said, God, that's terrifying. It's terrifying to invest that kind of money in a three-day event and God only knows what I'll get from it. You know, what if I didn't get anything? What if it turned out to not be worth the money that I put in and I spend all that time, I take vacation, I travel. So I ended up paying for a short session with Sean Stevenson at the end of one of his live webinars. He had a special offer of a highly discounted rate from his normal hourly rate, which is astronomical. So I got a half hour with him and he asked me about what I wanted to do with my life. And I told him I want to be a speaker or a writer. I want to influence people. I want to share a meaningful message with the world and touch people's lives. And he said, Brian, why don't you come to my event? And I said, well, it's the price. And then he said, you know what, what if I could work with you on the price? And then we talked a little bit there and he said, okay, Brian, I need a decision from you in 24 hours. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, wait, okay. I was like, can I just get the weekend? Because I got to talk to my boss and make sure it's okay before I, I lock in and see it. He said, okay, after the weekend. So the first lesson in this story, set a deadline for a difficult decision because if there's something you're struggling with, there's something that you're kind of flip-flopping and pancaking about, <laughs> set a time to have the decision made. Otherwise, it just sits in the never-ending list of items in your head of things that I wish I could do or I might do later. So he set a deadline, and as soon as we got done talking, he, well, and actually during this conversation, he said to me, Brian, I wouldn't be doing you justice as a coach or as a mentor if I didn't really push you to come to this event. And so this is something that's happened multiple times in my life since then. And uh, it's been described to me as a call to greatness or a call to your greatness. Is someone pushing you to do something that you're not comfortable with, you're not ready to do yet, but they know that they can see the future better than you can because they've been there too. So finally, after, as soon as I got the confirmation from my manager at that current job, I was like, I'm in, I'm doing it, I'm booking the tickets. And it was terrifying and exciting. And I, I clicked it, I, I put in my credit card information. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I just spent that much on one thing. But, you know, I talked with my parents, I talked with several people about it, and I was like, I was realizing that it was an investment in myself, that if I spent a couple thousand dollars on a vacation, if I spent uh, 1500 bucks or 2000 bucks on a vacation, yes, you have the memories and the experiences, but that's a fleeting experience. You know, it's all about the moment that you're in during that vacation. Whereas this has the potential to change the course of my life forever. I get to meet a mentor who's dramatically impacted my life, meet him in person, actually get to know him. I get to meet his network, the people that he connects with. So it all made sense, but there still was this massive amount of fear and resistance and this pull back and do, don't do it, don't do it because I'm push it was a huge pushing myself out of my comfort zone moment. So I ended up going to this event and I was coming back from a work trip in Hong Kong. So I was on a 13 hour time difference. I literally flew straight from Hong Kong to this event and got in the night before it started and then at 8 a.m. the next day was starting and these are all day events. So to give you an idea of how amazing it was and how impactful it was, even on a 13 hour time difference, I had just come back from a five week work trip, bouncing all over the world, switching time zones. So my, my internal clock was totally off. My body just felt like 
it was a mess. I couldn't sleep. I was waking up in the middle of the night. I'd been eating poorly. Even in spite of all of those things, when I was at the event, I was locked in. I was engaged. The quality of this Sean and all the other speakers that he brought on was just so beyond incredible. And it's, it was like so many of them were speaking directly to me and that they touched my heart and that the people at the event were being so authentic and vulnerable and genuine about their their fears, their doubts, their concerns, what they wanted out of their lives. And so it was an amazingly transformational experience for me in a number of ways because I got to see these people being real, genuine, honest, and vulnerable. I got to meet people that were doing really unconventional things that inspired me to continue doing what the unconventional things that I want to in life. Found people that had the rags to riches stories that had created a business out of nothing and now they're living their passion and working their passion and traveling the world doing it. And then, through this event also, someone gave me the idea to start the podcast, Overcoming Graduation, rather than just do a blog. Then, once I started the podcast, my first, I think, 13 or 14 interviews were all people from that, this event that I'm going to again this year. And then, the network and the people that I met, the support that I got from them, because now I had met people who had started their own businesses, and it wasn't like uh, talking to a friend who's never done it and they're like, oh geez, I don't know, maybe that's really bad that this is happening or that you're feeling this way. Whereas I'm talking to people who've done it before and they say, oh yeah, it's totally normal to feel like that. Here's a great resource to, to read to learn about how to deal with stress. Here's a great way to learn more about marketing. Here's a person you should connect with to interview. I think they'd be a great story. So all of this culminated from one really terrifying decision to invest the most money I've ever invested in myself. Now, that was probably the best investment I, I had made up to that point in my life on myself. And after seeing the results and seeing the payback and seeing how much I got from that weekend, I booked next year's ticket this year, the, or the, this event that I'm going to this year, I booked it at the end of last year's event. So remember when I said how terrifying it was to make that first purchase, but then I got that much value out of going to this event that I was committed to going again next year and now I'm going back. So what I want to share with you guys is I understand the idea of investing or taking a bet on yourself can be terrifying. It can be one of the most troubling things because you know you want it, but you're just afraid to take the step. You're afraid to book the ticket, to book the trip, to call the person. But investing in yourself is the most important thing you can do because that's how you're going to grow. That's how you're going to put yourself out of your comfort zone. That's how you're going to be challenged to become better than you've ever been. And also, you're going to make connections that can dramatically alter the course of your life. So connections, I think, is the biggest key. That's what I'm most looking forward to this year, beyond getting to see Sean again and, and some of the people I met at last year's event, is making these connections and fortifying and making stronger the connections I already have. So for those of you out there who are on the fence, who have seen an event and they're considering it, or maybe it's a public speaking conference, maybe it's a technology conference, maybe it's a traveler's conference, I don't know, whatever it is for you, if you're on the fence about it, book the trip. Because investing in yourself in this kind of way and exposing yourself to these networks of people that are doing what it is you really want to be doing with your life, you will be amazed to find what an amazing inspiration it provides, the resources that it creates, the connections that you're able to create, and then the value that you're also able to bring them. Because your perspective and your story is totally unique and different no matter who you are, no matter what you're trying to do, even if you're in a crowded market. So by meeting some of these people, you may be able to find a way to differentiate yourself in a crowded market and do something that you never thought was possible before because now you're surrounding yourself with people who have all done it. So that is today's message, is do not be afraid to invest in yourself. Just book the ticket, book the flights, make it happen. Because if you book it, you're going. And once you go, then you'll be able to see the value that you get. And, and then once you get there, meet as many people as you can. Put yourself out there in a way that you might not normally, and you'll get so much value out of these events. Because it really ultimately comes down to the effort that you put in after the event. The event is great inspiration, it's great motivation, but if you don't take action off it, nothing in your life will change. So guys, book a ticket to an event. Even if it's something small, even if it's local, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to fly to Australia to get great content and meet great people and meet great speakers. There's amazing people everywhere, but you do need to get off your couch to meet them. So today's message, go book that ticket, or find that event, book that ticket, and then 
go have a life-changing experience. So even if today you can't book the ticket, at the very least, today's action step, I'd say, go research events you might want to go to. Because all it takes sometimes is planting that seed, then you start talking to people about it, then, the ener- then it gains momentum and energy, and then all of a sudden one day you're booking the ticket and you're going, I'm going, and the energy is just going to fill you guys up. So if you'd like to find out more about Overcoming Graduation and the OCG community, please visit overcominggraduation.com. If you'd like to subscribe to the podcast, please visit iTunes or Stitcher. And if you'd like to reach out to me directly, you can contact me at brian at overcominggraduation.com. And you can also check out Overcoming Graduation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So (laughs) the sign-off has gotten longer because I keep adding things and I'm just trying to keep them all straight. So thank you guys for listening. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, fantastic week, fantastic weekend. And I'll be talking to you again real soon.